Except for the granola. We looked at the granola market 12 years ago and said, most granolas are full of butter and sugar, so they're high in fat, they're high in sugar. We want to do something that's healthy for you, and thus high in protein, high in fiber, and low in sugar. Actually, most of the granolas are high in sugar. I mean, you can't, it's yeah. hard to find one that doesn't, it's just not oozing with sugar. It's true, yeah. Sugar. Or maple syrup, or... Exactly, I was going to say, there's different variations, but generally it all comes down to high calories. So honey, sugar, brown sugar. Uh, so we use molasses, which is uh, also a depth of flavor too, right? We roast it, it's a nice, good uh, caramelized finish. And then um, today we're pairing it, we're, we're sharing with the tech community because it makes a great snack in their kitchens when they're working long hours. Yeah, I thought that was interesting. So here you are at a sort of semi-tech event. Yeah. And you were saying that because technology startups work long hours, this is one of your target markets in terms of selling into the community. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, you know, tech companies are working late into the night, don't have time to go run out and get dinner or a snack, as opposed to just ordering from Costco and getting a bunch of Doritos and uh, string cheese. This is an option where you can get a good sustenance pair with yogurt or just have it as a pick and pop snack and uh, mix. There's no chocolate in it, but it almost tastes like it's got some chocolate and cocoa. Right, yeah, yeah. And it has the appearance too. When we roast it, the molasses gets that nice dark finish. And so people think it there's chocolate in there, but really that's just the black strap molasses. Yeah, I was wondering when I first looked at it, I thought there was chocolate, but you're saying that's roasted. Yeah, roasted granola. Oh man, it's really good. Very exciting. That's yogurt to go on top of it. And you guys are based in San Francisco. Based in San Francisco. Local company. Even the packaging. Yeah. You've got the, the bridge here, right? Look at that beautiful packaging yeah. here. Absolutely gorgeous. Local San Francisco company. Local San Francisco guy? That's right. Uh, East Bay. Grew up in Lafayette. Now live in the city. I think that still counts as local Bay Area. Bay Area. Still meets the checkbox. And you were in the tech industry but got out. True. So tell us about that. Uh, I was with a tech company for four and a half years. Loved it. The company grew and so it went from a really young uh, startup and feel to more of a block and tackle and iterate on the business. And I really wanted to get back into the uh, startup. Uh, every day makes a big difference in the bottom line type feel. So. And why granola? Granola found us. We didn't pick granola. I didn't wake up one morning and say, man, granola's cool. Um, I love the granola, but really what happened was one of our co-founders looked at granola 12 years ago when he was looking to lose weight, um, my childhood friend's dad, and he said, there's no granola out there that I can eat that's going to that's going to help me lose weight. So he started tinkering with the recipe. He's really the origination of the recipe. And uh, 12 years later, we started tasting it, Dave and I, and said, "This is something that we need to share with other people and see if they like it too." Turns out they did. Testing in cafes, restaurants. Now we're packaging it, selling it in the Ferry Building, at Four Seasons, uh, Tyler Florence stores. Seems like that. it would be a great thing for travelers as well. Yeah, it's, you know, it's a great for a lot of things. It's funny, it's like the King's Dilemma, they say, where it's great in so many different facets. It's a premium granola, it's in great packaging. It's a touristy granola because it's so San Francisco based. But uh, San Francisco is known as a foodie culture. So really, when we take the product elsewhere and test it in LA and New York, people love it because San Francisco is known for their foodie culture. They're also known to be a little granola. They're what? <laughs> They're also known to be a little granola. Yeah, uh, yeah. the People's Republic of California, right? Right. Okay, so tell us where people can find out more. Website, Twitter. Website, sanfranolaco.com. Twitter handle is Healthy Granola. Healthy Granola. You got a pretty good Twitter handle there. Yeah. So at healthygranola.com, they can find contact you. Exactly. And I'm sorry, the URL once again? The URL, back of the bag. Back of the bag. Sanfranolaco.com. San, Sanfranolaco.com. Right. Thanks very much. San Francisco plus granola. Sanfranola. You got it. All right. Thanks. Yeah.